Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Windows 11 24H2 system requirements. And in this video, we're going to discuss one new system requirement in particular that will prevent a lot of users from installing Windows 11 on their systems. And also, this new system requirement seems to be impossible to bypass. So in this video, we're going to see some more info about it. If you enjoy videos like these and videos about Windows 11 24H2, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any any future authors like this one. So let's begin with a video. So starting with Windows 11 24H2, Microsoft will be introducing a new system requirement that will basically change the core files of the system. And these core files of the system will now require a new CPU instruction, which is called POP CNT. And there is also no way to bypass this, unfortunately. So as I've said, this is pretty much different from the secure boot or TPM requirements because those were easy to bypass. But this, at least until now, seems that it's not possible to bypass. Of course, maybe system modifications will be done in the future and users will be able to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2. But I think Microsoft is trying to limit older processors that don't have this instruction so that they can easily run the new AI features and so on. But the thing is, as I've said, system files in Windows 11 24H2 when loading the OS will require that new CPU instruction called POP CNT. So it even won't start without that instruction. Bob Pony on Twitter also provided some information. You're going to have some screenshots on the screen. Basically, he did discovered this new CPU instruction since the build 25905 and there are various system files that require this instruction from the Windows 11 kernel to the USB XHCI drivers and without it the system won't boot. And also the latest build from the dev and canary channels basically Windows 11 version 24H2 if run in a live Windows install now checks for a CPU instruction pop CNT. And of course there are various users also on Twitter or Reddit that are trying to find bypasses for this new instruction that is is required but until now I don't think anyone has managed to get a 100% working bypass but I'm sure that this will be done maybe after the release of Windows 11 24H2 which by the way is somewhere in September or October but I'm really looking forward to seeing your opinion in the comments below what do you think from what I know this new instruction is basically a thing on processors newer than 15 years so I don't think that a large number of users will be affected by this but I still think it's pretty interesting that Microsoft is introducing these new system requirements that will basically force us users that want to have the latest version of Windows to upgrade our components if we have an older PC. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.